Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a two inch brush and some blue and black. And we'll come right up here to the top and just drop in a little bit of sky. We don't need too much sky in our painting today. I think it's going to be mostly clouds up here. This is just a couple of pockets where clouds are kind of floating around the sky. Now with the one inch brush and some black, a little touch of brown and red. Mix those together. Not much paint on the brush. And let's just swirl in a few nice dark shadow areas here. Maybe we'll have some clouds. And we need a little bit of shadow to help them stand out and look three dimensional. Not too much color on the canvas here. Really very, very little. All right, that's about all we need. Now we'll grab a two inch brush and just work that into the canvas, blend it, make it very, very soft. Now I'll pull the one inch brush through some white and red. And now we can begin kind of laying on some highlight to these clouds. Just add on a little and then rub it around. There. We don't need our clouds too distinct today. They're just kind of soft, soft colors back in, in the background. We don't want to attract too much attention to them. With some gray on the knife, we can drop in a nice mountain up here. And maybe this is a nice big mountain today. So we'll just drop it in. Very easy. Just rub it right in. Scrape it. We don't need much paint on the canvas. There's a lot of detail in this mountain. It has a lot of nice bumps and peaks in it. And it looks very interesting. Now with the knife, we can add on some highlight. Today I'm gonna to use the small edge of the knife and just rub. I'm not using much paint because this mountain is very far away. I don't need too much texture today. I'm really rubbing it pretty hard into the canvas. I don't need too much breaking. Very, very soft. You can soften it with a knife simply by hitting it two or three times. It just goes right back into the distance. Now I'll tap the one inch brush into a little bit of white. And we can very carefully just float a little cloud right over this mountain. With a little bit of blue and white, we can add on some extra detail to this mountain. I think down here, I'm just going to add some snow. And this snow, maybe it kind of, it's mostly melted off the mountain and sitting here at the bottom. So just rub it right in. There, you can have a little bit of it, sort of go up the mountain if you want to, but not too much. Most of it's at the bottom with some white on the knife we can drop on just a small amount of highlight to this snow. We don't need too much. And I'm still using the small edge of the knife. This lets me do some very, very nice detailed things. Just let that snow rub right down. Very, very lightly. Let it mix with the blue a little bit and get nice and soft. Now when you're done with your mountain, then you can add in a few trees way in the distance back here. I'm just using the top corner of a fan brush and pulling down and you get very nice and quick little treetops. Don't get these too dark because they're still far away. Don't want them too dark and we don't want them too distinct. Just little trees in the background. With some yellow and green and a little bit of red, we can drop on some nice little highlights out here. Now these back in here look like evergreens to me, but maybe not everything in here is an evergreen. In fact, some of them are, are bushes and even grass, different kind of trees. And we'll just rub on a little bit of highlight that just catches the top of whatever this is back in here. Now we'll go through some black and brown and green, mix those all together, maybe a little bit of blue. 
And I think we need some foreground. It's time to start thinking about this stuff growing right here where we're standing. Maybe this is a valley back in there. We're sort of looking down on it. We'll just tap that nice dark color in and watch how this pushes all of the background material even further away. Just by tapping in a little bit of dark color. And maybe, let's have it come way up, right there. Now I'm gonna load up some dark color on a fan brush. Really black and blue, a little bit of green. And we can think about some evergreen trees back here. In fact, maybe there's quite a few. So we'll just tap, let these trees work back and forth, all the way down. And then down here, we just sort of smash them in because we have, we're gonna have so many down there. We're not too worried. Maybe there's one right there on the edge. Just barely fits into the painting. There, let them grow together, just like that. Now with the filbert brush and some black and brown, we can come right up here and just drop in a nice big old tree. And it probably stops right about there. Go back over it again if you need to thicken it up. With the filbert brush, we can carefully add on a few leaves. In fact, maybe this, maybe this is an evergreen tree. Maybe it's a different variety than the ones behind it. Or it's just old and it's been here a long time. It kind of looks worn out. And that gives the painting quite a bit of interest. Next, we'll load up some yellow and green on a fan brush. And then we can highlight these little trees back here. We don't want too much on these trees because if you add too much of this highlight, you'll sort of lose the contrast. I want this nice light against dark back here. So just a little. With the knife and some black and brown, let's rub in a big rock up here. This rock, like just about everything else we've done in the foreground, will help to push everything back by making this area in here look a little more detailed. There, just rub in some nice color. Really, we're more more worried about the texture than anything else. With a nice light brown on the knife, we can quickly rub on some highlights. Just touch and let that paint break right across the rock. With the one inch brush and some yellow and green and black, we can just tap on some grass. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my instructional DVDs. And thanks for watching.